All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of The Urban Gardener. I want to thank you all so much for joining with me here today. And if you haven't already, please get down below there, hit that subscribe button, follow along with more garden adventures as we continue growing here on The Urban Gardener. In fact, hit that bell notification so you can be notified of upcoming episodes. So today we're going to be talking about our five gallon water wicking containers, like the ones that we've got right here. Some might call them self-watering containers. Now I've grown in these for about seven years now and they do have a water reservoir down in the bottom that the plant accesses water and pulls up into the plant. But I do find that you actually have to put the water in yourself. So I'm not too sure about the idea of self-watering, but for the purposes of this video, that'll be just fine. As you can see here, I'm growing garlic in these ones right here and right behind me. I've got uh, broccoli growing in these ones, which eventually will get transplanted out to some of our peppers that we grow in our five gallon water wicking buckets, as well as tomatoes. I've got eggplants in some. We're also growing carrots, radishes, and turnips in some of our other containers. We use them all over our gardens for many, many different variety of crops that we grow here. They work out really, really well for my uh, area here in Southern Oregon where we get some pretty warm summers and that water reservoir down there really helps out with some of those hot days. And for the price of these containers, you just can't beat them in your garden and that's for sure. There are a lot of different other types of garden containers that are out there and some of them in most of our garden centers are really, really pricey. And uh, I just can't imagine paying that much for a garden container that doesn't do as much as these containers do. They really do put in some work for the cost. In fact, I've done a garden minute uh, recently to show you guys exactly how I access these containers. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Just here, um, I'm in the back of my local grocery store. I just noticed they've got a whole bunch of food grade five gallon buckets back here so I just made a call real quick and they said that it was all right to grab some of these to reuse them yeah so if you're looking for any buckets or anything you might need to make some of our five gallon water wicking buckets or you just wanted to use for other types of pots in fact some of these it looks like are even smaller than five gallons and then they got some five gallons even some square ones here but I'm sure these are all food grade really great to use for your garden so call your uh, local grocery stores your bakeries or your restaurants and see if you can find some of these that you can reclaim So many of you watching this video right now might have actually subscribed to our channel from our first water wicking bucket episode we did in our first season. We put together a really in-depth uh, how-to video on how to put those together as well as about a season ago I did another more current video on how to put these together and uh, what you're going to need in order to uh, put them together and it's really simple you just need a pvc pipe here i think i got a half inch pvc pipe got a net cup here this is a three inch net cup and uh, just a drill and a couple of drill bits that you'll need as well but uh, as far as the net cup is concerned you want to check the size basically of your bucket because the net cup is based on the space in between the bottom bucket and the inner second bucket so I've got this one here which is about a two gallon bucket 
And if I was to put these together, I'd want to find a smaller, maybe two or one inch uh, net cup to do that with as well. But yeah, for less than 75 cents, you can put one of these bucket systems together and have a really great uh, planting container that is also going to help do some of the watering work for you which is a really great help in the garden. If you grow in as much as I do, there's a ton of watering that needs to be done. And when you don't have to really focus on these as much as the rest of your garden, it's really, really helpful during the summer months. So one more thing to remember, these five gallon water wicking buckets are made of plastic. And plastic will eventually break down under the sun's rays. And if you got them out in the full sun, which a lot of these buckets are really good for because they're going to keep those plants hydrated that need that full sun, but if they're out there in that full sun, they're going to get a lot of those UV rays and it's going to eventually break your buckets down. They'll crack and even start breaking apart had these buckets probably for about seven seasons now and I do have a few that have been out in the full sun uh, throughout all that time that are starting to break down and are probably on their last season or two before I'll have to replace them. So all in all, these buckets are a great addition to our gardens and they've gotten us some really great results with all the different things that we've tried growing in them. But maybe you could try growing one of your favorite crops in some of them too. So maintenance on these five gallon water wicking buckets is very simple. Now I don't change out the soil every year. I let the soil sit. I actually leave plants in there until the next year and then pull the root system out after it's had a chance to decompose over the off season. And, um, and all we do is we just top off with more compost later on. But we do have to kind of make sure that our, un, our bottom bucket is kind of cleaned out from the year before and we don't have any like anaerobic water or anything sitting in it. I do try to keep them flushed out every so often, so it shouldn't necessarily be too much of a problem, but I'll just show you real quick how we clean these out. I just take a five gallon bucket, empty bucket. Just take the top bucket and use the empty one just to hold that. Then as you can see, we do got some things in there. We're gonna go ahead and wash that out. Dump out that old water. So there we are, we've got it all rinsed out, doesn't need to be perfect, just wash away what you can, what will wash away, and the rest will be just fine. And now after finishing that one, we just take the next one in line, move it right over, and now we'll rinse out this one.
Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this video on our five gallon water wicking or self-watering buckets, if you will. But uh, they're a really great bucket system. I hope that you get a chance to maybe try some yourself, get out and find some from a local uh, restaurant or bakery or something and uh, get those little parts that you need and um, put together a few of these containers for yourself and give it a try out in your gardens, especially if you've got some small spaces or some really limited spots, maybe on concrete even in certain areas, they will work really, really well. We grow, again, a lot of our different crops and things like the peppers and tomatoes and, and all sorts of things in those uh, five gallon water wicking containers. So uh, again, I hope that you like this video. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up, hit the like button. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything about our five gallon water wicking buckets, or if you're growing from five gallon wicking buckets yourself already, tell me all about it right down in that comment section below. And again, if you haven't already, I mean, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and follow along with more garden adventures as we continue growing here on the Urban Gardener. In fact, hit the bell notification so you'll be notified of our upcoming episodes, and I'll see all of you on our very next one. Watering buckets. Although, you can, uh, okay, wait. water is down in the bottom, we'll come pull on some of these really hot days during the summer. Ah, I'm moving that thing around too much. <laughs> now you can't beat a watering container. Now you can't beat. <laughs> some of those uh, watering days that's uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I just went on a tangent there. Oh my gosh. Hit that like button. And if you have any questions. And that's how you do it right there. <laughs>